our financial statement analysis series where we are continuing on with calculating ratios and using those ratios to determine the financial health and well-being of a company compared within its own industry. So again, we're still measuring profitability. So this is measuring, measuring profitability part continued. And we'll look at two different ways to measure profitability. And the first one being the rate of return on common stockholders' equity. So this is how much income can actually be earned for every $1 that's invested by a common stockholder. So to calculate the rate of return on common stockholders' equity, we're going to take a company's net income, subtract their preferred dividends, because we're only interested in the common stockholders' equity here, and then divide that by the average common stockholders' equity. So to get average common stockholders' equity, we're actually going to take our beginning common stockholders' equity, add the, begin add the ending common, common stockholders' equity, and divide that summation by 2. That will be our average. The second way to measure profitability that we're looking at in this part of our series is earnings per share of common stock. So this ratio is actually um, a very important one as it also will appear at the bottom of the income statement. So earnings per share of common stock is actually the amount of income that is generated by one share of common stock. That's outstanding. So to calculate earnings per share, we're going to take net income and again subtract out preferred dividends because we're only talking about common stock here and divide that by the number of shares of common stock that is outstanding. So let's take some example data and calculate these, these numbers and then discuss them. So here is financial data that we've actually seen before. This is Bonaparte a comparative income statement for 2006, 2005, and some additional data from 2004. So what I'd like for you to do is to um, attempt to calculate the rate of return on common stockholders' equity, as well as the earnings per share of common stock. So push pause on your player now, calculate those two, and we'll come back and discuss them. Great, I hope that you have calculated the two ratios here, the rate of return on common stockholders' equity, and the earnings per share of common stock. So again, the um, formula for calculating the rate of return on common stockholders' equity is net income less preferred dividends divided by the average common stockholders' equity. So we are going to need net income and preferred dividends as our numerator. So we're going to subtract preferred dividends from our net income for our numerator and divide that by average common stockholders equity. So beginning stockholders equity plus ending stockholders equity and divide that summation by two. And in this case, our rate of return on common stockholders equity is 14.1%. So what this tells us is for every $1 that's invested by a stockholder or a common stockholder in this case, we, the company, is earning 14.1 cents for every dollar that's invested by a common stockholder. So again, to determine if this is an appropriate uh, rate of return on common stockholders' equity, you would really want to go out and investigate this amongst the other companies in the same industry. So now we want to compute the earnings per share of common stock. Here, we're going to still need the same numerator, which is net income, less preferred dividends, 16,000 minus 3,000. And now we're going to divide that by the number of shares of common stock that are outstanding. In this case, it's 20,000 shares. This will give us 65 cents. So what this means is there is 65 cents of net income generated by just one share of common stock that is outstanding. Again, to, to be able to tell if this is a good or bad earnings per share for a particular company, we would really need to investigate the industry as a whole and see what the industry is doing. Please visit my website at web.me.com slash Brian Ruth 
for more accounting videos, an accounting blog, accounting educational information, and lecture documents.